everything was crashing down on Pac. This was the moment where he knew he messed up. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Super Fina. In this video, we are reacting to Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 7. If you like that kind of stuff, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can see more. So Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 7 was bananas. A lot of stuff happened. Bruh, I gotta talk about it. We saw the Scout Regiment savageness on Marlian soil, but we also saw their weakness against artillery. The Scouts are fast, but not faster than bullets. We saw Armin arriving as a colossal titan. We saw Eren trying to get the Tiber woman out of the crystallized cocoon so he can eat her. The Marlins. We saw them witnessing how threatening the Devils of Paradise Island really were. And we saw the Jaw Titan getting triggered, shook, and losing his shit. Bruh! We gotta talk about this stuff. Now for this video, I want to focus on the Jaw Titan. Why? because there is so much symbolism going on with him. And I think his reactions to the events happening around him caused huge consequences. Huge. Before we talk about Pac the Jaw Titan, I gotta like, you know, explain the setting, what was going on. So those of you who did not see this episode yet, Spoiler alert. I'm going to go into details. All right. So we got the Warhammer Titan. It's the Tiber Woman. She's sealed in a crystallized cocoon that she made herself to prevent Eren from eating her and absorbing the Warhammer power. Then we got the Jaw Titan coming in and being like, uh-uh, Eren, you're not getting her. And as he's fighting Eren, and Eren's like having some difficulty fighting him, all right? So the Jaw Titan is a threat. But then, but then our Eldian Scout Regiment come in, swoop in, and help Eren. They're assisting him. And this is where Pock learns just how much of a threat the Scout Regiment is. Pock was shocked by the scouts fearlessly attacking him because he was so used to humans running away during war battles. And I think he didn't know what to do. He, he didn't know how to fight against them. Then, fortunately for him, the cart titan Peak comes to the rescue with Arsenal on her back. In this scene where she comes in with the Arsenal on her back, we can see that she factored in that the scouts were weak to advanced military firearms. We can see that Peak understands how the scouts fight and what their objective objectives are. After the cart titan arrives in the scene, then the beast demon arrives. He's coming in. Zeke, the boss, the boss of the warriors. He's like, hey, Aaron, I'm here. What up? He grabs some rocks, he crushes them, he throws them out like they're bullets, hurting the scouts. Dude, we can see the hope and the appreciation the Marlian warriors have for Zeke. They're like, yeah, our leader is here. Yeah, we're going to kick these guys' butt. The Cart Titan and the Jaw Titan. They know that Levi Ackerman is there and they're keeping an eye on him. They know that Mikasa Ackerman is there too. They're keeping an eye on her too, but they're mostly concerned with Levi, okay? Because, you know, he's badass, right? So they're like, okay, we gotta keep an eye out for him. The cart titan's healing the jaw titan. All right, 
We gotta stay here and protect Zeke, the Beast Titan. We don't want Ackerman to get to the Beast Titan. All right, cool. They're on the same page with this. Then Armin comes in as a Colossal Titan, and he comes as a surprise. Brah! He turns into the Colossal Titan and nukes the battleships. He destroys the whole town along the harbor, along the body of water. Oh, man. Oh. I was wondering how Armin was going to show up, especially as a Colossal Titan. I was, think I was wondering how he was going to arrive. How he was going to use his titan powers. Because, you know, he was the pacifist one. You know, he wasn't ruthless when we saw him younger behind the walls, right? Bruh. Widow Armin eradicated the battleships. Eradicated the town. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Armin grew up. Whew. So we got that part. The colossal titan nuked the area. Jaw titan sees this. And the court titan says. The colossal titan that they stole from Berthold. Bruh. I think this triggered the jaw titan. This triggered Pock because... If you remember, the Odeans of Paradise Island, one of them, as a titan, ate his brother. And Peek just mentions that they're using the colossal titan that they stole from his friend, Berthold. Mmm, you know he was triggered. Pock was triggered. Starting here, this is where everything comes undone. And I think it was caused by the Jaw Titan. Let's do a review on Pock first. So, we already knew that Pock hated and had prejudice against Eldians of Paradise Island because one of them ate his brother. And he was brought up to view them as devils, evil, they're wrong, and he's right. We could tell that he thought himself as above them, especially after he became one of the Marley Warriors. The most sought after position of the Marley Eldians. You're following what I'm saying here? Next. He's never fought them before. He's never fought the scouts. He's never fought anyone who was able to fight against titans. So when he first encountered them, he was shocked. He was shocked by how they were going at him. He's like... Don't you realize I'm a titan? I'm a titan. And you're attacking me? So here's that. He thought above them. He thought himself above them. Here's that part. Okay? But he's scared of them. He's scared. He, a warrior, is scared of little humans. That shocked him. Next. We could tell that he held some resentment towards Reiner. Because Reiner let his brother die. Berthold was killed. Annie was stuck on Paradise Island. And they failed the mission. And he did not understand how Reiner and the others could fail the mission. On obtaining the founding titan. He was like, how could you guys fail the mission? You guys are warriors. Alright, so we already had that. Now that he's encountered the scouts, it's like 
Well, now you know. Now you know why they failed the mission. And on top of that, he's finally fought with Eren head to head. He knows what it's like to fight against Attack Titan. And he's realizing how much power Eren has. This part over here, I'm thinking, that's right, sucker, your titan butt is about to get served. Feel the wrath of Eldian scouts from Paradise Island. All right, I'm going off topic. I'm going off topic. So back to the jaw titan, Pock, being shook. Okay, he's being shook. We got the scout regiment. We got Aaron. And then we got the colossal titan. He sees a Colossal Titan. He's being triggered now. Triggered. And he's getting impatient. We see him getting impatient. And he's like, why don't we just attack Eren? He's, ha he's a founding Titan. Take him out. And they lose their trump card. That's what he said. Then Peak, the card Titan, responds, no. Our objective is to protect the Beast Titan, to hold him off. We have the military power here. We got this. Look how weak the Scout Regiment is against the bullets. We got this. Then the Colossal Titan shows up and Pa loses it. He's like, nah. I'm going to go after Eren. So he goes after Eren. Not a good thing to do. Why? Because now the Beast Titan is vulnerable from the back. So we see. We see it. We see the Jaw Titan going after Eren. And then, whoop! The Scout Regiment goes after the Beast Titan. Peek called it. She called it. They go after the Beast Titan. And then they're distracted. They're like, oh no, they're going after the Beast Titan. So they're going after the Scout Regiment. And the one person they were worried about, the one person that they kept talking about, Ackerman, Levi Ackerman. Before, they were saying, oh yeah, Ackerman's here. I saw Ackerman. Keep an eye out on Ackerman. For a split second. They forgot about him. He swoops in. Attacks the Beast Titan. While the Cart and Jaw Titan are busy with the others. Oh! Bruh. Peak called it. So Levi comes in, attacks the Beast Titan. The Beast Titan goes down. Everyone is seeing this. The warriors see this. The Marleans see this. They're like, our leader, the leader of the warriors is down. And then Levi takes like a grenade-like thing and boom! People don't know what happened to Zeke, but they saw it. They saw that explosion on Zeke's neck. On the Beast Titan's neck, okay? Calm Peak. Calm Cart Titan Peak is shook. She's like, oh, Zeke, no! She got distracted. She got distracted, and the scout regiment went at her. It's amazing how this played out. It's like the scout regiment knew who to target. Knew how to distract him. Knew what would bring down their morale. They were like messing with them psychologically. You could see it. Oh my gosh. So we got Calm Peak distracted. Then the arsenal on her back gets attacked. And then we got Sasha. You remember Sasha. Sasha who eats anything that's like around her. Sasha who was a hunter where she was from. 
You see her with her gun and boom! She gets one of the shooters in the arsenal on Peak's back. He's dead. Everyone is shook. They're like, what? You died? You, who's in a protected tank-like thing, died. They're all shook. Peak again got distracted. Then the scout regiment comes in with their missile-like weapons. Boom, boom, boom. Brah. Peak got wrecked. And this all happened after the Jaw Titan charged down towards Eren. I'm just saying, that caused a chain reaction. Back to the Jaw Titan. Pac just saw Zeke go down and Peak go down. He saw two of his comrades, warriors, titans, go down. Not because of Eren, but because of the scout regiment. Holy cannoli, he's mad. Pac is mad. He goes at Eren again. He's attacking him. He's like using his claws. Ah! He's so mad. Eren blocks his claw-like attacks. He uses a crystallized Tiber. And in that moment, Pac, the Jaw Titan, scratches the crystallized Tiber and causes some of the crystal to come off. There are scratch marks. This crystal was marked. His claws were able to put damage on it. And Aaron saw it. Aaron saw that the Jaw Titan could damage the crystal. So we got Aaron thinking about this, strategizing. He's like, ah, so this is the Jaw Titan's power. Now we're like, okay, what are you gonna do, Aaron? How are you gonna get that power and utilize it? And that whole time, Pac is still angry. He's backing away, trying to collect himself, trying to figure out a way to attack. And again, he forgot about an Ackerman. He's the one who noted about Levi and Mikasa, and he forgot about them again. Mikasa saw the Jaw Titan leap towards Eren, and she saw her chance. Bruh, she saw Pac leap and she sliced his legs. Holy cannoli, his legs are gone. Bruh. Eren sees his chance. He grabs at Pac. He slams him in the ground. He rips off Pac's arms. He rips off the Jaw Titan's arms. So it can't claw at Eren. Rips off the arms and then he shoves the crystallized Tiber into the Jaw Titan's mouth. And the Jaw Titan's like, What are you doing? And us people watching, we're like, Oh, damn. We know what Aaron's doing. This scene is going in slow motion. The Tiber woman is conscious in this crystal. She knows what's going on. You can see her expressions just by her eyes. And the scene is slow. You see her eyes. You see Pox's eyes. You see Aaron's eyes. It's just going back and forth between all three of them. You're like, Aaron's gonna do it. Aaron is gonna use the jaw titan's jaw to crush the crystal. And slowly, as the crystal is cracking, breaking, Pac realizes what Eren is doing. 
Aaron is using his own jaw, forcing his jaw to close to break free the tiger woman. So Aaron can eat the Warhammer Titan's power. Brah! Everything was crashing down on Pop. This was the moment where he knew he messed up. Oh, that was such a powerful scene. We see Puck angry. We see him trying to take charge, trying to control the situation, thinking that he's got it, he's confident, he can do it. And then, because he was so heated, he forgot about the Ackermans, and he didn't realize that he was damaging the crystal. All the way to the end, when Eren shoved the crystallized Tiber in his jaw, he didn't realize what Eren was trying to do. He was confused. He only realized what was going on when he felt the cracks of the crystal in his jaw. And the messed up part is he's called the Jaw Titan and his own jaw was used against him. Bruh. Because of his anger, his rashness, he caused the Marleans to lose the Warhammer Titan. The Warhammer Titan was a threat to Eren. It was beating Eren's butt. And they lost it. Bra. Puck wasn't ready. He was so cocky. He thought he was better than Reiner and the others who went to Paradise Island. He thought he would have done a better job at getting the founding titan from Paradise Island. And look what happened. He actually faced the devils of Paradise Island, the scouts and Eren. And he lost. And he made the Marleans lose the Warhammer titan. Like I said before, there's just so much symbolism going on. Oh, The way this story is written is so good! And the anime portrayed it so well. Oh gosh. Oh. I'm excited for the next episodes. What do you guys think? What do you guys... Those of you who saw this episode, what did you think? Did you see what I saw? You should see more stuff. Did you read more into this? Oh, I was reading a lot into this episode. But I was really focused on the Jaw Titan. What did you see? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and if you want, I also have a Discord. The Discord link is available in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe so you can be notified on future videos. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Some people who watch the videos do pop into the streams and they come to talk story. You're more than welcome to do that. I stream every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime and manga and other things we're interested in. If you're curious about that, the link to the podcast is available in the description too. Check it out. Podcast Cross Worlds is available on all platforms. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Lehua and this was the Superfina channel reacting to Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 7. I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters.
huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.